Josh Allen is a menace. 25 of 40, 304 passing yards, four touchdowns, 77 yards on the ground. He could not be stopped in this game. When he had that fumble early in the fourth quarter, the Miami Dolphins missed out on a prime opportunity to deliver the knockout blow to the Buffalo Bills. When you are playing a team like Buffalo at this point of the year, you cannot afford to be settling for field goals when you're able to come away with takeaways. You got to turn those turnovers into touchdowns. The Dolphins, though, found their offense finally in this ball game. They finally realized, hey, we have a really good group of running backs. Last weekend, their loss against the Los Angeles Chargers, their running backs only had 16 total carries. The week before that against San Francisco, only eight. Raheem Mostert the night had 17 carries for 136 rushing yards. Moving forward, you got to make sure that he is one of the main focal points of your offense. This offense, at times, can be a little too predictable. You know it's either going to go to Jalen Waddle or Tyreek Hill. Do a better job at switching it up. Get Mike Kosecki more involved. I know I'm not a head coach or anything, but when you spread the football around, it makes your offense difficult or way more difficult to defend compared to when you only build it around two players the Miami Dolphins have a really good football team you're paying these guys a lot of money you would like to get them more involved Cedric Wilson you signed him in free agency and he hasn't really did deadly squat this year plus he was dropping passes tonight Tua played really well in this game. As a matter of fact, this is probably the best game that he's played over the last three games. He had 234 passing yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. Some of his receivers tonight, though, let him down. There were a good amount of drop passes by these Dolphins receivers, which could have costed them some opportunities of furthering their lead. But overall... I think the Dolphins are going to be fine. Their last three remaining games are against the Packers, on the road against the Patriots, and they have to play the New York Jets. Those last two teams, New England and the Jets, they're run-heavy offenses. If you can slow down the run game, you're going to be able to neutralize those offenses. The defensive line of Miami has been playing some really good football of late. So you like their chances of being able to shut down the run game of New England and the New York Jets. At best, the Dolphins should be able to win 11 games. But I think realistically, this team is more than likely going to have 10 wins. The Buffalo Bills, are they going to be able to hold on to that number one seed? I think that they have a good chance to. Their defense got away with a couple of holding calls that should have been called. These refs didn't miss anything when it came to Miami. But Buffalo, Davis White, he got away with a handful of them. And I'm not the only one who noticed this. There were a good amount of other people who were taking note of this as well. The Miami Dolphins offense, although they played well, they stalled out in the biggest moment of this game. Well, not just one of the biggest moments, but in late in the fourth quarter, their last two possessions, they didn't do anything. And that's when the Buffalo Bills were able to capitalize. All throughout this game, the Miami Dolphins had ample opportunities to close out the Buffalo Bills. And they weren't able to. They even had a lead at one point in the fourth. Buffalo, just with Josh Allen, was too much for the Dolphins to overcome. That fumble, them only getting a field goal from that, was a huge letdown. You get a touchdown in that situation, I think the momentum of the game tilts in your favor and you win. Buffalo's last drive took up pretty much the remainder of the fourth quarter. 
Mark Sanchez did a phenomenal job calling this game. He has a good sense of humor. On top of that, he really knows his football. He gives you a good insight into what the players are thinking. I do disagree with his opinion that the Buffalo Bills should have just went ahead and won the game. Instead, Devin Singletary decided to fall down. He didn't pick up the first down, but it ended up being third and one. I agree with that decision. Yes, it would have been good to go ahead and get the touchdown, but do you really want to go ahead and leave this Dolphins offense with Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill a little bit of time on the clock? I don't know about that. It's just way too much speed to want to defend. And yeah, Buffalo has a really good defense, but you'd rather not have to deal with that situation if you don't have to. You'd rather take your chances and just go ahead and kick the field goal. It was an easy field goal. If he would have missed that field goal, I promise you he would have been gone right after the game. He had to. No way he could have missed a chip shot from that distance. The Buffalo Bills right now are looking like the best team in the AFC. Yes, Kansas City and Cincinnati are creeping up on them. This defense is really good. Yeah, this Dolphins offense did get going. Late in the game, the Buffalo Bills defense prevailed. And that was the difference in this game versus the last game when these two teams met up. Earlier in the season, it was the Dolphins defense who ended up coming up big and making the big stops and winning the ball game for the Dolphins. This go around, the defense made two big stops late. The Dolphins offense couldn't move the ball. They got the ball back to Josh Allen and company, and they went ahead and sealed the deal. And I think that's what makes Josh Allen so great. We talk about his athleticism, his ability to escape outside the pocket and turn nothing into something. But he has that it. He has that go get it. Late in the game, you give Josh Allen the ball with two minutes left and you need a touchdown on the board. You can count on Josh Allen to deliver more times than not. I think he's one of the best closers in the game we don't really talk about it all that much but within the next couple of years the older he gets and the older you and i get we're going to start realizing just how good josh allen is in the two minutes of ball games when you need to win i was really impressed the last drive that buffalo had in this ball game Buffalo still is my pick, along with Cincinnati, to make it into the AFC Championship game. And like I said before the season, I don't know who's going to make it out between the Bills and the Bengals. I'm just going to go with whoever wins the AFC Conference Championship when those two teams make it, because I believe that they will. For the Miami Dolphins... You still should be able to make it into the postseason. Your schedule is pretty favorable. I don't have no concerns there. When they get to the playoffs, if they do get to the playoffs, will they be able to win in the wild card round? I think that really depends on the matchup. I appreciate you guys for listening to this episode of the JT Sports Podcast. If this is your first time listening to the JT Sports Podcast, welcome. I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure that you follow me on all of my social media platforms. You can follow me on Instagram at JT Sports underscore. You can follow me on Twitter at JT Sports underscore underscore. Make sure that you check out the JT Sports Podcast available on all podcasting platforms. Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon, wherever you get your podcasts from, you can find the JT Sports Podcast. Make sure that you give us a five-star review if you enjoyed this episode. Share this podcast with your friends, family members, and acquaintances. And I appreciate you guys for listening to this episode of the JT Sports Podcast.